and it was the best looking truck until I hit a deer recently. And I got the whole grill screwed up. Just look at all that power behind that Tesla. So I just stopped by at the yard. I needed to drop some stuff off at my truck. This week I'm gonna be driving this truck, the only truck with the blue grill. And it's the only truck that's empty right now. But that's all good. I'm gonna be lo loading 30 minutes away from home. Just look at all that power behind that Tesla. We got 10 500 horsepower Cummins engines standing behind this Tesla. And each one of those trucks is fully loaded. We got a total of 72 cars sitting on top of these nine loaded trucks. We got everything from Fords to Chryslers, to Chryslers, to GMCs, to Broncos and Toyotas. We even got a Kia load right there. Check out this truck. This is the most customized truck and it was the best looking truck until I hit a deer recently. And I got the whole grill screwed up. But since this grill is so heavy duty, way stronger than the regular OEM grills, which is like almost like a net. This grill saved the radiator and the condensers. I managed to fix all these little grills by straightening them out. They're not perfect, but from further away, it doesn't even look like anything happened. But this company that I work for has a bunch of other trucks standing here that aren't theirs. These are just people who pay them to park their trucks on the lot. They even got a man-made pond on their yard so peaceful but so cold at the same time they got some new machinery standing around here i think i'm gonna be driving this instead of the truck this week i can tow just as many cars in this than in that <laughs> and then there's this huge bulldozer standing right here wheels are as tall as me but no shovel on it. This Tesla sure does look good standing in front of all these trucks. Even this Tesla was transported by a truck. Check out all these loaded trucks from the back. I counted. That's a total of 72 cars sitting on top of nine trucks. One truck is empty. And this is not all the trucks. There's actually one more truck. But either somebody left on it or it's sitting at the shop. All right guys, so we're back from the yard. I just had to drop a few things off. So I got two more things on the list to do today, and that is help my wife meal prep for me for the road. We're gonna be doing grilled chicken salads, 
And the second thing to do on the list is to pack up all my clothes, put it by the door, and get ready to leave for tomorrow. So we're about to prepare some food right now. So come along and I'll show you how we do that. So we got all the food prepared, ready to go for tomorrow. Just gotta pop it in the fridge. I packed up all my clothes, got everything ready. I'm gonna be heading out early tomorrow morning. As early as 4.30 a.m., I'm gonna be out of the house. And first thing I gotta do tomorrow morning is load up. That seems a little early, but the early bird gets the worm. So this is gonna be my last week of driving for the year. I'm gonna have next week off. If you like my video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.